When you learn foreign languages, you begin to understand your native language even better. For example, in English, we say jumped with a T at the end, but we say played with a D sound at the end. And this has everything to do with voiced and unvoiced sounds. Voiced sounds have vocal cord vibration, z, i, and an unvoiced sound doesn't. In Portuguese, for example, you pronounce the S like an S before an unvoiced sound, as pessoas, but you pronounce the S like a Z before a voiced sound, mesmo. In Italian, it's the same way. The S before the F is pronounced like an S, sfortunato, and the S before the M is pronounced like a Z, smesso. So when you learn about voiced and unvoiced sounds, you're able to better understand the patterns and the reasons that we pronounce words in the way that we do in different languages.